What's going on, y'all? It's Gum Gum TCG here, back again with another video. And today, I have a box of OP07, 500 years into the future. Let's see if we can't pull 500 years of good luck out of this box. Uh, I notoriously have bad luck when it comes to opening boxes, but, you know, you gotta do it again sometime, right? So, let's see if we can't pull something out of here. I'd hope to get uh, some leader cards. I'm really looking for the yellow ace. Let me know down in the comments below what you're looking for out of this set, if you're excited for it, if there's any new leaders you're gonna be playing, and... Yeah, why don't we go ahead and switch to the top-down view and get cracking into it. Huh? You still aren't using Dueling Guard? Then you aren't using the best TCG accessories on the market. Dueling Guard makes the highest quality TCG deck boxes with the most stunning artwork I've ever seen. Their modular design allows for easy access to your decks and dice. They don't just make deck boxes, they also make the highest quality binders with side-loading pages to keep your expensive cards safe and protected. They also make high quality play mats and now even sleeves. I personally use their sleeves on all of my cards and cannot go back to another sleeve after I've been using theirs. They are grippy and slick when you need them to be and I have no doubts that my cards are protected in them. Gear up with Dueling Guard to protect your cards in style. Don't forget to use code GUMGUMTCG to get a discount at checkout. Alrighty, y'all. Got the top-down view here. Clean, new box, fresh, seal not broken. So let's go ahead and pull out our trusty knife and split this thing open. Now, if you notice, I am playing or opening on a beautiful mat and this is going to be from dueling guard if you haven't heard of dueling guard yet you need to go to the link in the description below and get yourself some new awesome tcg accessories uh deck boxes binders and play mats they got it all anything you could want they have it so make sure to go check that out use that link in the description and that code gum gum tcg to get yourself a discount at checkout but all right we got it open and uh yeah, if you've never opened a box of this before, it is 24 packs in a box, 12 card booster packs. So, um, yeah, quite a few cards to get through here. Going to try and get this set up nicely for you so you can see and uh, see what I open, you know. Um, like I said, I don't usually have good luck, but I'm hoping to at least get one of the uh, Secret Rare Aces. That's kind of what I'm hoping for out of this set. So, uh, why don't we just see what we can do? Um, yeah. Yeah nothing else to do other than open it up so uh, if you guys like this kind of content and you're not subscribed already definitely make sure to like and subscribe it helps me out a lot it helps grow the channel and it helps uh let other people see this kind of video so uh yeah let's just go ahead and jump into it we got maha stary weevil monda egghead i think this uh stage card is actually really cool i wanted to do something funny with it in the pre-release format but unfortunately i couldn't make it work and uh there we go we got a new leader that's gonna be boa hancock now this leader is a little better than i initially thought i ranked it pretty low on my tier list and uh yeah i think it's just uh better blue mono crocodile so uh if you're a fan of that deck and you're a fan of removal based decks definitely be sure to go check this out and give this a shot uh, we got Perfume Femur, and this card goes really good in this deck as well, being a uh, basically a Diable Jambe that also gives uh, the character a boost in power. So uh, very good card here. Very nice to see that. And then we got a sad Tony Tony Chopper that has been stolen by the Foxy Pirates. Nice little blocker for you there. So I'm going to go ahead and keep all the rares separated out, keep all the commons out over here as well. And uh, yeah. You know, we don't like to see the leader packs, but, you know, I do like to at least get one of each of the leaders. And it uh, looks like we might have something pretty cool in this pack, too. And that's going to be one of the Dawns. Uh, I'm not going to talk about every card as we go through it. going to kind of try to go pretty quickly through this stuff. But if there are any good ones, I will mention them. I do think that Morgan's is a really cool card. This just being a uh, card you could drop on the field and get very basically full hand knowledge uh, out of your opponent. Really, really cool. I saw people using it in my pre-releases, and uh, I thought it was very interesting. Uh, I do think some of the Foxy Pirates cards are interesting. However, I just think as a shell, the deck is not as good as you might want it to be. Now, here's a really good leader. And that's going to be Jewelry Bonnie. If you don't know anything about this leader yet, you definitely need to get into it because this is one of the best leaders this set and uh, one of the best leaders to come out of this set and one of the best for this format. So be sure to take a look at that if you haven't already. Uh, and then next we have Law. This is a nice new 2K for the Seven Warlords strategy. Uh, and then we have Monkey D. Luffy, Afro Monkey D. Luffy. Awesome card here. And this is what I was talking about, the Seven Warlords Dawn uh, fitting for the seventh set, right? Uh, nice shiny Dawn there. You can see it's got 
all the warlords uh, if my camera will focus it's got all the warlords on it uh that were at marine ford now uh, super sick dawn but i do think i like one of the double pack dawns a little bit better than this but we'll keep this safe over here and uh yeah you get two dawn in a box if you didn't know that if you've never opened a box then um then i'd recommend doing it sometime as long as you can get the box for the right price you know we do like to keep an eye on card prices and stuff on this channel if you haven't checked out the market watches definitely go check out that playlist i have uh, i will link it down in the description as well but um yeah a lot of cool cards in here a lot of good cards some nice fishman support if you're a goatee jones supporter like me a uh, great place to get some new fishman cards this set was also super interesting for pre-release format i was able to go to three of them uh personally and this has the most 2ks out of any other set as well as i believe the most blockers uh and here we had a really good card that if you pulled in pre-release was really awesome blaze slice being a boost to a character or a leader and then also resting a four or less and we got kaku this is a nice new rare card 2k for the rob lucci strategy that comes out of this set which we should pull one of those leaders so i can show it off to you um i'd like to pull uh, uh, an alt art leader if possible you know i do uh try to collect one of each of the alt art leaders uh just personal collection and uh yeah, it'd be nice to be able to pull one instead of having to trade for them or purchase them at a later date. We got a bunch of pack filler in this set, though. Um, you know, a whole lot of Foxy Pirates cards, a whole lot of Kuja Pirates cards, and some of them are good, some of them are bad, but, I mean, you gotta have some pack filler every now and again, though. Uh, and here we have Rob Lucci. This card was actually really good for pre-release, too. I mean, just making your opponent trash a card. I didn't pull one, but I had this used against me like three or four times. It was actually crazy. Uh, and it's also just a nice 6K body. And there we go, our first super rare. That's going to be a Jimbe. Now, this card's awesome for the seven warlord strategy, whether you're playing Boa or you're playing Dofi. Uh, looks good, too. They got a really good art of Jimbe there. But it plays another seven warlords with a cost of four or less from your hand. And uh, that's really nice. Really good, powerful card there definitely like to see that i'm gonna go ahead and put all the hits up here as we pull them i'm gonna have to move that out the way might got a little reflection on that gym bay but you're gonna have to get over it bud yeah i'm gonna try and move through some of these a little bit quicker now uh gecko another gym bay bucking lost a card uh sad little sanji nice new raju support um don't know how many you would play of that if you play it at all. Barto, there's a whole lot of Supernova support in here. So if you're a Law player, Green, Red, Luffy player, or even a Green Kid player, you might find some new cards in here. Uh, but specifically, they were all made for that Bonnie leader. And here we got Baccarat, another addition to uh, the Red Film Pool. Uh, this card's actually not too bad. And then we have another Super Rare right off the bat there as well. And that's going to be Porch. Porsche, Porcha, Porsche. I don't really know. Um, but great card for foxy pirates and i'm pretty sure it's also just a generic uh ramp as well no it's not a generic ramp it searches yeah it searches for foxy stuff and then plays a character from your hand so not bad uh but i'm i think that the goal there is to search for a card that does ramp you in the foxy pirates um like i said foxy seems like a really goofy deck i'm definitely gonna have to build it one week and just take it to locals for a good time we got some more seven warlords with ever edward weevil one of my favorite characters tone jit from the long ring long land another jim bay a poo chopper mihawk this card was a killer in the pre-release uh island of women shaka this card was also awesome in the pre-release a whole bunch of egghead cards and then here we go another new leader that's gonna be monkey d dragon i think this one slept on you know if we ever move back to another fast-paced format i think this card's gonna be awesome uh it's basically just like better starter deck luffy like um really cool really cool deck uh definitely very fast paced and you can do a lot of cool stuff with it but nice leader and then we got outlook the third nice little on play goa kingdom stuff and an otama nice new 2k searcher yeah, this got an alt art in here. I think people are going to be trying to pick it up for that Odin leader as well as Yamato and um, uh, Green, Pro uh, Green Black Wano Perona. I've seen lists of that running around as well. But two SRs down. I believe we still got a whole bunch of packs left to go. Um, ratios in boxes are weird. You can get like one secret, one alt, two alts, um, alt leader and a secret and an sp like they're kind of all over the place so i don't really know what to expect other than hopefully hitting something 
Uh, and here we got a great 2k for yellow uh, gonna be the frankie it's even got a trigger to draw a card then if you have one or less life cards play this card so awesome for anel right there but uh definitely made for vegapunk but great card for anel and then oh we got a we got an alt art karina and i think i've said to myself that this is the absolute worst card i did not want to pull um i <laughs> you know like i said i don't have the greatest luck with boxes but maybe we can turn around with the rest of it but just take a nice look at the foiling on that it does have some nice texture to it it is a pretty good looking card however man this was made for the red purple uta deck and maybe this is my karma for shitting on that leader too much but i digress let's see what we can't pull you know we could always turn it around with the alt art leader or a nice secret rare oh we can turn it around with an alt art leader there it is we see the back of it right there oh that's exciting let's see what we can get we got usap Raju, Porcheme, Mihawk, Pickles, Aladine, Koribu, Gina, Mask Deuce, Gecko Moria, Demonic Aura, Nine, si Nine Sword Style, Asura, Demon, Nine Flash, and what do you guys think it'll be? Let me know down in the comments below. Foxy! Oh my god, man. Of course I got the meme leader in the pack too. Oh man. I can't be too mad. It's still an alt art leader. It's still pretty cool, but he is definitely bricked up in this uh, artwork. I don't know why they had to do that, but uh, it's pretty funny. Yeah, try and focus this and get a better look at that texture and stuff. Pretty good looking card, but um, not the leader I wanted. However, cannot be mad at an alt art leader. Uh, let's see if there's anything else in this box. It might just be SRs from now on, but I have seen boxes like this where you hit an SP as well, or you could also hit um, a secret rare too. So uh, let's just keep going. We got Monda, Baskerville, Vega Force One, another Kuja Pirates, Khalifa, Slow Slow Bo Beam, Shave, Doflamingo, Galaxy Wink, Lucy. Gotta love Lucy. This card was cool to see in the pre-release too. I didn't even know this card existed until somebody played it against me. Uh, it's actually not too bad. But yeah, it'd be awesome to pull another uh, a secret rare out of this box as well. Or an SP. You know, some of those SPs are uh, pretty nice. Like the Onami. That one's a, a definitely a nice collector's piece people are searching for. Um, not only a collector's piece, but like also super playable. Um, definitely for Anel, Katakuri. Uh, any deck that wants to play that card, Yamato, very good card. Ein, and we're going to claim the One Piece. Gotta love some Lin Lin and Kaido. Got a whole bunch of new support coming out for both of those in 08 as well, which uh, a lot of people are scared about, but I'm super excited. I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a good format other than Law kind of just dominating. Uh, I think there's still a lot of cool stuff in there, a lot of cool options, but uh, let's just keep going. Megaton, Ninetales, Rush, Egghead, Chopper, Zoro, Glorosa, Hattori. Oh, I love this card. Gotta love the pigeon. Uh, Foxy. Perfect for my Foxy leader. And Stussy. Not a bad hit at all. I think this card's awesome. Just a great generic uh, black card that can KO anything. Yeah. Really, really strong card there. Kind of happy to get that as well. Uh, I'm going to put this up here. We got three supers so far, two alts. We got a couple more supers to go, and I mean, maybe something else? Who knows? Maybe we could pull the manga. That'd be awesome. I've opened a whole lot of product in this game, and I have never pulled a manga, so that would be super cool to see, especially on camera, too. That'd be awesome. I'd be super happy with that. Captain John, Fisher Tiger. This card's crazy for my man, uh, Hody Jones. Basil Hawkins. There's another alt. Wow. I called it. We got two hits in a box with a leader. This one's pretty cool looking too. All of his cards are super shiny. Yeah, I like that. I like the foil on that. This card's super strong too in Bonnie uh, as well as Kid. Uh, you could even play this in Red Green Luffy. Uh, any of those Supernova leaders, this gives it blocker. And then uh, he has a uh, self-protection effect. So awesome card there. I think that's all the big hits that we can get out of a box though. I think three is your limit. So there's our nice hits. You know, they were right near the top of the box, but uh, I guess we'll just rush through the rest of these, you know? I mean, still got some SRs to go, but I don't think there's a possibility that we could pull anything else. Manga? Manga? 
take up an alt slot? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm not really too sure about that, but uh, let's just move through these. See if we can't hit anything else. Bonnie. That's great. Love to see Bonnie. Definitely a good pick up uh, for the Bonnie leader, as well as any other green deck. You know, this card being generic, being able to lock something down as a mini Doflamingo or their Dawn. Somebody did that to my Dawn in the pre-release, and that hurt, man. Um, wasn't expecting them to do that, but I guess they had no choice. I was on good curve. Uh, they wanted to stop me from playing a big body the next turn. Iron Body, Snake Dance, Koala, Aladine, Gina, Bartolomeo, Shaka, Sengoku, Lilith. We're just hitting all of them now. Nice searcher for the egghead deck. Nice Vega Punk card there. You know, you get a search with it. Uh, you can also stack it in your life. Trigger if your leader's Vega Punk to then play it. So, uh, super cool. Uh, way that that deck plays. I'm going to have to do a testing video on that deck just to test it out, see how it does. Maybe even build it and take it to a locals because uh, super interesting play style uh, being a leader with two life. And um, I don't know. I like those decks where you play with low life and live on the edge and kind of control what's going into your life. So might be right up my alley, but uh, definitely we'll have to check it out. I know it gets a lot more support in 08, so I'm super excited about that. Um, we got another Perfume Femur and another Karina to go with our alt art. So we are balling for the Red Purple Uta deck right now, as well as the Boa deck. Uh, I'd like to pull a Boa SR, though. I did not pull any out of my pre-release packs, and I think that'd be a great one. Uh, I also wouldn't mind another Egghead Luffy. I need one of those, the five cost. Uh, that'd be a great pickup. Uh, as well as, uh, what else am I looking for out of this set? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, Sanji's? I wouldn't mind having a playset of the Sanji's. I'd like to get that. I think it's a great generic purple card that if you're interested in playing any purple, you should definitely pick up. But here's a new leader, Rob Lucci. Nice, nice little uh, new black control leader. You know, they get rid of one. Here's another. So uh, definitely a better leader this set. Something super competitive, and you can definitely play at high tables. Um, and then we got another Frankie. I did need playsets of Frankie. Uh, super good card for yellow. Uh, we're coming down to like, I think the last eight packs, I want to say. Eight, ten to eight packs. I don't know. Not too many left though. Yeah, Gecko Moria, Apu, Bucken, Edison, Sanji, I Requash Help, Karmic Punishment, Snake Dance, Itomamizu, Caribou, Blaze Slice. Good card. And another Foxy. I'm just getting a whole Foxy core today, man gonna be might be the deck i have to take this weekend to locals Let's see what else we can get else we can get uh, i believe we got like two more supers to pull one more maybe two. Oh, put it in the wrong stack that's my rare stack man fuza monda jimbe papa papa g york nine tails rush egghead mihawk slow slow beam Salome, Lucy, and another Fisher Tiger. Gotta love it. Card is really good for Hody Jones. Being able to attack characters the turn that it is played, as well as uh, on play, resting a six or less. Super strong. So definitely happy they gave Hody some support, but I need more Hody support in uh, EBO2 whenever that comes out. That would be awesome to see. Vega Force 1, we got more Papa G, Baskerville, Koala, I Requires Help, Morgans, Grandma, he possesses the world's biggest brain, Boa Hancock leader again, Galaxy Wink, another Rev Army uh, card, and another Frankie. Hey, I'm gonna, gonna have a whole play set of Frankie I can stick right into my NL deck off the bat. That makes me pretty happy. Not too shabby at all. Can't be mad at it. Oh, man, I'm losing these cards. I think this is another leader pack, so we're going to go through it pretty quick. Jimbe, Porchimi, Baskerville, York, Iron Body, Aladine, Gecko Moria, more pizza, Foxy. Don't need it, bro. I got the nice one. Monkey D. Luffy and another Law. We'll take that. That Nightmare Luffy. Uh, actually, let's talk about this card for a minute. This Nightmare Luffy is pretty cool because it sends cards, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, trash an opponent's character would cost a two or less, and then you can bottom deck stuff to give him boost, um, make him a little bit beefier. People play this in Rob Lucci to help deal with stuff like Sabos because 
Sabo cannot be KO'd that turn that he's played. So instead of KOing him, let's just trash him. How about that? Throw him in the trash. That's what they got to do. Now let's see what else we can get. Reiju, Edison, Boa, Chopper, Sander, Sonya, Slow Slow, Spandam, Zoro. I like this card a lot. This is definitely a new law card. Uh, Red Green Law can definitely abuse this card. And uh, I think it's awesome. I was using this all the time in uh, the pre-releases. Shaka, Ito Momizu, Otama, Sanji. There he is. Just what I was talking about. Look at that. We love to see Sanji. This card's incredible for purple decks. I cannot express to you how good this card is. Just being able to uh, play it for three costs if you have less Dawn than your opponent. Uh, also, that effect can be abused with law. Like, it's also a blocker. It's also a 2K. Like, this card's absurd, man. It, they actually took everything that you wanted in a purple blocker and put it into one card. This card's insane. So I uh, definitely recommend picking this up if you're playing law. If you're playing anything purple in the future, you're going to need a play set of that card. It's phenomenal. Uh, we're coming down to the last three packs here. Let's just go ahead and pull them out. Here we go. Three more. Last three. See if we can't get one more hit. One more hit would be awesome, but... I want to say we have one more leader pack because I don't think we pulled a Vegapunk leader. So we should be getting one more leader card in here. Um, Vega Force One, Edward Weevil, Mihawk, another Nine Tails Rush, Khalifa, Karmic Punishment, Crocodilly, Hamburger, World's Most Billiant Mind, uh, Ace. This is a great new card. Blocker that also lets you draw two and put two to the top or bottom of your deck in any order. 6K, five costs. Got a counter on it. It's awesome. Monkey D. Luffy. Love to see that, man. Uh, super happy to see that. Uh, like I said, I needed another one of these, so definitely glad to get my hands on it. Uh, but I think I know exactly what's going to happen. We're going to get a Vega Punk in one of these packs and a Dawn in the other pack. Um, yeah, I think that's what it's going to be. Um, I'm trying to think. Actually, I think it might be Vega Punk and the Dawn in one of the packs. So let's see if I'm right about that, because I'm pretty sure in each box, you definitely get six leader packs, uh, one of each common leader. So... Uh, you can definitely make sure to get a copy of each of them just in case you're wanting to play them. Uh, Bandai is at least nice in that way. But um, yeah, Dawn packs are always leader packs as well, I'm pretty sure. And it uh, looks like we have another leader pack, another Bonnie. Sometimes you do, do get duplicates, which is fine. Outlook the third and Marguerite. Uh, I didn't know this card was real either until today and someone played it on me. You got to draw a card and a free blocker for, for three Dawn. That was crazy definitely got schooled and then here we go like i said our last dawn pack because we had one dawn already i'll go ahead and pull it up here with the rest of the stuff and uh yeah keep it quick go through the rest of these like i said it should be an uh a vegapunk leader unless i'm just tripping nope i'm definitely not tripping there he is man with the world's most brilliant mind the biggest brain yeah crazy crazy leader uh definitely thought this leader would be better than it is but um I don't know. I think it's super cool. I think there's just better yellow leaders. Uh, they just can't take advantage of the um, egghead stuff. We got another Rob Luigi, another We're Gonna Claim the One Piece, and then another Dawn. Like I said, this Dawn is beautiful. Uh, I definitely like it a lot, but I do thoroughly enjoy the double pack Dawn that is um, Supernovas on it. I think that one's sick. Supernovas at Sabaody. I think that's the uh, awesome Dawn from this set and set of double packs and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and take a, another look at all the hits we got. All right, y'all, let's run through these hits one more time. So, of course, you know, we got the two Dawn cards. You always get two Dawn in a box. So nice addition to the Dawn sets. Uh, then we got a Porsche. Good for the Foxy deck that I'm going to have to build now that I have the leader. We got a Jinbei, of course, good for the Crocodile, the Doflamingo, the Boa great great card there we got the stussy awesome black generic card being able to pop anything uh really really strong we got a egghead monkey d luffy awesome card definitely needed this i'm super excited to have it uh, i'm super close to my play set uh, and then we have a sanji excited to pull one of these i only saw like one pull out of three pre-releases that i went to which i thought was absolutely crazy uh but yeah it is what it is i think they short printed that then we have a lilith this one's pretty good as well for the uh vegapunk uh deck but other than vegapunk it's not really too good of a card uh and then of course we have the jewelry bonnie which was another card i wanted to grab just being a great generic green card take a look at that card one more time 
awesome, awesome looking card with an awesome effect. And then, of course, we got to show off the hits one more time. So we'll go in the order that we pulled them. We got the Karina again. Super good looking card. You can see all the texture and foil on this card. It looks awesome. Uh, I can't deny that, even though that I don't think it's a great card. It's not super playable. Um, I guess it's generic. You know, I could see this making its way into some deck lists, some red leaders. But uh, for now, I don't think it's that great. And please don't bash me for not having sleeves on these yet. I'm going to get sleeves on them here in just a minute. And then uh, next we got the Foxy Leader. Uh, i got to zoom in on that, show you a real close up. Um, don't look too hard, though awesome looking leader super happy to at least pull that alt leader uh, like i said my luck is not too great with boxes i do have some more coming so maybe we'll make another video out of it and uh maybe we'll have some more good luck but yeah foxy leader pretty cool nice texture to it uh, and then finally we got the basil hawkins i didn't expect to see a third hit especially not so soon it was right after that foxy leader and this one looks awesome uh, i wish i could get a better close-up of the foil but my camera does not want to focus. Uh, there you go. Some cheap of the foil off of that. Yeah, it looks awesome. I think this card's super sweet. I think it's uh, definitely a great pickup if you're wanting to play those Supernova leaders. If you're wanting to play Bonnie for a while. Definitely a card that you want to pick up. But that's going to be all I got for y'all today. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that if you open a box of 07 or any 07, you have better luck than I did. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed already, if you didn't like the video, make sure to go like it, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all on the next one. Peace.